Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to talk about the brand new Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. I bought this online through Harrods and I thought we could do a little demo, wear test, etc. I also picked up a Dior Backstage Kabuki brush to go along with it. And I thought that since I have so many other Dior backstage products. We could just do a whole backstage face and talk about the new product here. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As many of you know, I'm a makeup artist and also esthetician, and I now have an online beauty consulting service. This is where you and I chat about your beauty concerns. Whether you have questions about your makeup routine or your skincare, the benefit of using my services is I don't work for any brand in particular. I work for myself, so my opinions will be unbiased. And when you book a consultation with me, you get my years of expertise, my knowledge, my years of experience, working in the industry but you get it personalized and you get to pick my brain so if you want to make an appointment click the link in the description box down below you can make an appointment and you can also get gift cards so if you want to offer this consultation to anyone for a birthday or a holiday what is a better gift for a makeup lover than a makeup consultation all right so as i mentioned i have this new powder no powder here and i have the shade called 3n natural but i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first and we'll dip into this one a little bit later here so i thought we could go ahead and use my backstage cool toned palette here this came out a couple years ago i think this was the first backstage eyeshadow palette to come out so i'm gonna go ahead and use this today i'm going into this bottom matte mauve color here and for the brushes that i'm using they will be listed in the description box down below so if you notice in this palette here there is one color up here that's technically a primer color i've tried this before in the past i really don't like the primer that comes with this palette here i've tried it several times multiple different ways but it just always creases and makes a huge mess so i know that the other dior backstage eyeshadow palettes all have this stupid primer with it honestly I wish they would just remove it and put a different eyeshadow instead. And now I'm going into this more plum matte color here. I do like that it's a good mixture of matte and satin shimmery colors. It's a really well balanced palette. And I don't often use this palette here. I think when I first got it, I used it quite a bit. And I wish I used it more often because it's just such a great cool tone palette, you know? I'm just placing this in the crease here and buffing out. And then I'm taking what's left of this brush here and passing it under the bottom lashes here like this. So now I'm just going into the center shade here, this lilac shimmer. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger and place it on the center lid right here. And then I'm just going to go into this dark plum matte and I'm going back into the tapered brush from before, but I'm just going to knock off the excess and just go really into the crease here just to add a bit of depth. Now using my pinky finger, I'm going into this silver highlighter here and I'm just going to place it on the inner corner. Now let's top it off with the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl in black and the eyes will be done. Okay, so before we go into any more makeup, my lips are feeling a bit dry. I'm going to go into my Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 001. I've tried different colors. Honestly, the classic like neutral pinky shade is my favorite. I think my second favorite shade after the original color is Rosewood, which is a neutral nudie color. 
All right, let's move on to foundation. So I do have the Backstage Face and Body Foundation. However, the shade does not suit me at all right now. I think when I bought it, I got it at the end of the summer. So it's not going to work for me right now. So instead, I'm going into my Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I have the shade 2WO. But before I go into my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use a primer. So this is the Air Flash Radiance Mist. Technically, it's a primer or a setting spray or both. So there are a couple ways to use this. You can go ahead and just mist it on your face. However, if you do that um, with dark hair, your hair will look a little bit like Cruella de Vil and it will definitely get on jewelry and clothing. So what I do is I will spray it on a sponge or a brush instead and then dab it on. If I was like doing my makeup alone and not on camera, I would just like not wear a top and just pull my hair back and then mist. I just find that it gets so annoying, like it covers your earrings, it covers your jewelry, it kind of gets everywhere. So just be warned. So give it a good shake and then just spray. See, it makes a pretty big mist. It just adds a nice a little amount of glow to the skin and sometimes what I like to do is I will use this at the end of the day you know after like seven or eight hours of makeup wear and you're starting to notice a couple little patches that don't look as fresh and need to be like filled in when you just mist this over top of your makeup it is like a filter like an Instagram filter it's a veil of radiance and like just a hint of makeup technically this is a universal shade so it just adds this like blur and just corrects any foundation or concealer slippage or moving around so it's kind of nice for both of those features so I heard that there may be a new air flash foundation this year i think there's just going to be a couple new makeup items this summer i heard that there may also be new dior single eyeshadows i love those i recently fell in love with a few shades but apparently they're coming out with some new colors in the new formula so while i am doing a full face of dior backstage I will cheat for the concealer. This is my Clé de Peau concealer. Anyone who's watched a lot of my channel knows I always cheat when it comes to the concealer. I'm just adding a bit of mascara to the bottom lashes and then we can move on. So let's move on to the star of today's show, the new Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder on powder so i bought this through harrods online and i wasn't exactly certain of the shade selection i wasn't sure if i was a 2n or a 3n i went with a 3n let's go ahead and read the description and claim behind this powder here so it says professional performance perfecting translucent powder natural radiant blur effect all day matte finish this multi-purpose powder may be worn alone to mattify or bring warmth to the complexion or applied on top of foundation to set makeup. So I'm seeing things like natural, radiant, blur. Those are all keywords when I look for a powder. The box says here that the face and body powder no powder is the Dior makeup artist's secret weapon for creating an even naturally matte and luminous complexion that lasts all day long. It's supposed to not have a powdery finish. It's supposed to be multi-use. It can be used alone or on top of foundation. And it's supposed to help create a healthy glow. It's supposed to help your makeup last all day long. So I did wear this yesterday on top of my makeup. And I will go ahead and include the wear test a little bit later on. All right, let's go ahead and apply this on top of my makeup right now. I will be using the number 17 Dior Backstage Kabuki Brush. So just a few things. This powder has absolutely no scent to it whatsoever zero odor and it feels like a regular powder i would say like it's not soft but it has like 
the tiniest amount of give. Like I can't push my finger through, but it doesn't feel like a hard powder either. It's an interesting texture. Okay, let's go ahead and wear this. When I saw my package arrive yesterday, I was a little bit concerned with the color. I thought, oh no, oh no, 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 that's going to be too dark. But it's more translucent than you think. So if you're not certain of the shade, I think you'll be okay because it's quite translucent. As you can see, it's not really changing the color of my foundation. You can see the color on the brush here, but as you apply it, it stays the same, which is nice. I will use this on my channel quite frequently. I'm going to test it out to see what it's like just as a powder without foundation. I think that this has a lot of promise to be worn as like a no makeup makeup day, like something really light on your skin. So I'm just adding a little bit more, and I have to say, this looks stunning. It's really beautiful. It looks luminous somehow. It's a powder. It does not look or feel drying whatsoever. You don't get a powdery, cakey finish at all. It looks really luminous, like I have no highlighter on here. But look at that, it's beautiful, it's really stunning. I think the claims that it's like this natural radiant blur is really quite accurate. I'm going to include a wear test here. So I wore this yesterday on top of my makeup again, and this is at the end of the day, so about seven or eight, maybe nine hours of makeup. And you can see that my skin still looks luminous and glowy. It doesn't break down. It doesn't fade away throughout the day. I was wearing a more natural finish foundation, so you can see a little bit more imperfections, but the powder held up. It didn't make my skin too dry. It doesn't settle into any fine lines. It does not pick up on texture. You know, as a reference, I'm 33 and I have dehydrated skin, which means my skin lacks water, not oil. So I often tend to gravitate towards products for dry skin and mature skin. And it's rare for me to look for products that have the word mattifying in them because they're just really not my type of product. But this here is magic. It's really just this like, beautiful, blurring, <laughs> magical powder. I also zoomed in around my mouth and nose just to show you that there's no cake up, there's no buildup of texture, it doesn't pick up on texture or any creases. It's really just a really wonderful powder. Let me just take some powder here and put it on the back of my hand. So you can see that there is some color, but it's also quite translucent as well. It isn't so much that there's lots of color, it's just that the color that's there just offers like a nice blur. It's really sheer, but just enough to just kind of like blur and hide these little imperfections. It's really great. It is described as a translucent powder, so the pigment and color that's there is not going to change your foundation, it's not going to add a lot of coverage, it's just going to blur. My hunch is that this on its own would be really light and natural and would just offer like a blurring veil of coverage because my hand doesn't look like it has foundation on it, it just looks like a nice little blur. All right, now for the blush, I'm going into my Backstage Rosy Glow in the pink color. So this is the blush right here. Yesterday when I wore the powder, I wore a liquid foundation, blush, and highlighter as well. And it really mixes well with other products. You don't have to worry about it shifting or moving around or anything like that. So for the lips, I'm going into a lip liner. This is the Dior lip liner in the shade 525 Chéri. And then I'm going into some gloss. This is the Stellar Addict gloss in 765 Ultra Dior. 
I have the contour and also one of the highlighting palettes, but I think I'll skip because I just like the look of foundation with a bit of blush. I like going extra sometimes, but I don't think I need to go extra today. Even though this highlighting palette is really pretty, mm, I don't know. I think I'll skip today. However, I will not skip a fragrance. This is the best way to finish off and to complete a look. So this is the Joy Eau de Parfum. This smells so clean, so fresh. It smells like white florals. It's very feminine. A hint of sweetness, maybe a little bit of fruit as well. It reminds me a little bit of Chanel Chance or Chanel Allure, just this really classic signature scent. All right, this about does it for today's video. So what else is there to say? I think this is a great powder. It isn't too drying. Some powders are super mattifying and this says that it's a mattifying but also luminous and it does mattify a little bit, but you will still have that luminous glow. It won't be drying. It's not gonna suck the moisture out of your life. I just think it offers a perfect blend of both of them. And I think it's a fantastic powder. I've said it a couple of times in the video and I just think it's really great. I think it's currently available through Harrods and it's available on the Dior website directly. I'm guessing this will be available at Sephora in the near future, hopefully, because it is a backstage product. Usually the backstage products are at Sephora and places like that. So I will provide affiliate links down below if you want to test it out. I personally think it's a really great product. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the backstage collection in general. I personally am a big fan of the products that I've tried from the backstage collection. I don't think I've tried one that I didn't like. Like for example, the cool toned eyeshadow palette. I don't like the primer, but that's literally the only shade in here that I don't like. I don't think I've ever had a bad backstage product, which is really great. So before we go, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That always helps me out a lot. And make sure your notification bell is on. That way you can be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, guys, I think this is it for today's video. Thank you all so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.